Welcome back to more Sip the Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what we're going to do is take a look at the sacks that we got versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I think we did a decent job of improving defensively versus the Steelers. Um, took away one of their greatest weapons, which is the moon ball, even though they, they did hit one of them. But um, some changes were made defensively. Uh, some guys, you know, I like like looking right here at the structure of the defense. I like it. You got Wiggins. You got um, B. Steve. You got Marlowe. You got your date. No. You didn't have, yeah, you got four corners on the field right here. Four corners, and then Kyle playing the back safety, or Darius playing the other back safety. I like I like the structure that we did, taking our Darius and putting him at the free, or having Kyle at the free and. If it's going to be better for us to for Kyle not to be around the box, so be it. Some changes had to be made on the back end, and it looks like they finally taking advantage of doing that. But really, I want to focus on the sacks, and, you know, Oway had probably one of his better days. We got a sack from Broderick Washington. I got, like, a little scramble half sack from um, Oway and, and B. Steve. So let's take a look at those four plays real quick and see how they worked out for us. Away with the, the jump cross on 65 on their left tackle. Good play. Let's look at it from the back end. Kind of break it down and see what he did. Let's, let's highlight Oway right here. Let's highlight Oway and see what we get out of him. Perfect. Perfect. Tackle goes to extend that arm, slaps it down with his left arm, pushes it on through with his right, and all he got to do is get that shoulder bind. Get that shoulder bind. Perfect. Got it bound. Straight to the quarterback. Straight line to the quarterback. Great execution of the cross chop. Great execution by Owe of the cross chop. It's next one. Again, look at the structure of the defense. So Darius and Kyle are safeties. Marlo on the slot. Wiggins in the corner. And I can't tell if that's B. Steve or Trey White at the top, but Trey White got a lot of spin yesterday over Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens probably had the most snaps, but Trey, toward later in the game, Trey got some, got some burn. This is the great coverage because this is a cover sack. Look at the cover. Pick, pick is kind of bracketed. The guy running the middle of the field is kind of bracketed. Nate got a, is over top of the, the third receiver, so he really don't have anybody to throw to, and now they're in a little scramble situation, and the guys do a great job of just rallying. And that's the half a sack by uh, Brandon Stevens and, and Adolphe Owe. Cover sack, great job on the back end of, of doing your assignment. And, if, and I hate to say it, but if, if Kyle, I mean, I said it once already, if he got to play away from the box so we can get the best 11 on the field defensively, so be it. So be it. What I like about this is I, I complain about Rose drop sometimes, but I like this drop. His eyes are on somebody. They're communicating him and Marlowe communicating, passing that off, passing pickings off. So, you know, it's a good job on the back end. Better, better structurally. Better structurally. And, and even though we lost, I mean, they didn't score a touchdown. We bend it and didn't break. They were away again. Whooping on um, Jones. Jones leads the league in sacks giving up while he was constantly talking uh, yesterday. They got the win, I understand. But he leads the league in sacks giving up. Let's take let's kind of focus in on Owe again. Come 
Coming off. Now, nah, no cross chip, no cross chop this time. Just straight power. Straight power and rip through. Straight power and rip through. Now finish it. Now finish it. Good job right here. Now he, and he missed, he actually missed a sack. He missed one sack. He could have had um three and a half. Could have had three and a half because he missed the sack uh early in, well, I don't know if it was early, but I know he missed one. He missed one. And let's come to this one by Brody Washington. Great push up the middle. Great push up the middle. And again, you see the back end structurally. Kyle and, and, and our Darius back there. Marlowe, B. Steve, and, and um and uh Wiggins as the corners. Uh Trent at the line of screen. I like Trent right here. I like Trent doing some of this stuff. If you, you go back to Trent's college tape, he 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 decent at this. So I, I like him being there. And he could drop out and do other stuff too and be extremely athletic doing it. So I like Trent in that role. Again, like I said, changes were made. Just a good job of him. Like that's that's real discipline by Trent right there. Just to stay there and see what's coming and not to just blow by it and allow 15 or whoever that is coming out the backfield a free release. Good job structurally and 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 communication wise. Got Malik and Trent dropping. You're only rushing. You're rushing four. Who's that came on the blitz? Roe came on the blitz. Roger just fought through the double team. They got basically they got three guys on two. And we we Roger squeezed through there. Got the good hit on Russ. Let's see it from the back end. Roger's right. Roger's at nose guard. Over the, straight over the center. And the center is a rookie. Center is a rookie. Slanted to the right. So now he's on the guard. But basically we got this, this cluster of people right here. Got this cluster of people. And we just outnumber them right there. You got Roe. You got uh, Tavis Robinson. You got uh, Broderick. And I guess, you know, they just depend on who they leave free. They, they leave Roger free and he fights through it. So now he just got a clear path to the quarterback. And he don't miss. It's a good part about it. He don't miss. Now that's the one good thing about having Russ back there over Justin. Justin is Justin probably don't don't get sacked right there. He probably give Brandon a little one two and get up out of there. But Russ ain't ain't the guy he used to be mo mobility wise. And so we'll take that. So structurally, you know, the defense, they made changes. They're making changes. They didn't allow a touchdown, even though we still lost. But we just, if we can keep going in this direction and play a little better uh, Monday, then play a little better the next week, then we had a bye, I, you know, I can be encouraged. I can be encouraged. I hate we lost, but I do like that we looked better defensively. And um, But the Steelers ain't a, ain't a real high-powered team other than the moon balls to us. I mean, the moon balls to Pickens. So, I mean, I said that in the preview video. Their biggest asset was those moon balls to Pickens, and they play great defense. We, they only got one moon ball in. Um, we we kind of shat the bed on, on, on offense. They got a victory. But um, this is the first video of the week. I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace and love.